what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Florida State Representative Kimberly Buck Dancing Daniels, who doubles as a knockoff two bit hustling pastor, told her lost congregation that she thanked God for slavery, claiming that if it wasn't for slavery, she'd be somewhere in Africa worshiping a tree. Buck Dancing Daniels, the sponsor of a bill recently passed by the Florida House that would force every public school to post in God We Trust signs, is a dangerous religious extremist who dreams of a Christian theocracy. This is why you cannot protect everybody. You can't save everybody. She's lost. And everybody that's in her district, everybody that she pastors to, they're all lost. And guess what? Many of them have children. They're lost. And their children are going to be lost. This is just going to go on and on for generations. Because you have these self-hating Negroes who are so lost, they'll never be found. How in the hell can you be born into freedom physically and still be a slave? I mean, boy, they took away the chains and some of these Negroes still are enslaved. They're mentally enslaved which is the worst type of slavery? It's the same way when somebody's in jail. You go to jail, some dudes go to jail and they come out even better than they were before they went in. Because once they get in there, they get their minds right and they educate themselves. And while they're in there, they just know, they know they're just doing time, they're just passing the time. But while they're passing the time, they're educating themselves. They're doing a lot of critical thinking. They're thinking about the mistakes that they made and not trying to figure out how they can go out and do the same thing, but try to do that smarter. They're saying, no, I'm going to try to do something totally different. And they don't get caught up in that prison life. Some dudes go there and they get institutionalized. They start believing in everything about prison. And then when they get out, <laughs> if they're fortunate enough to get out, they come into the real world with those same attitudes and they can't function. So they end up going right back in because they're mentally enslaved. You had 17 people who got killed at that school and God couldn't stop the killer. But this fool expects a sign about God to stop the killing. Man, do you know how much damn sense that makes? Zero. Yet, this is the type of person who has been chosen to lead. These are the type of politicians you have. She ain't the only one, trust me. She's not the only politician that's on that type of level that thinks like that. It's a bunch of them out there, man. It's way too many of them. And it's a bunch of them in the church also. This is why so many people have defected from the church. So many people have left the church looking for a better way because they don't believe the teachings. They don't believe the people that are inside of the church putting out the information because those people are not living right and those people don't make no kind of sense whatsoever. The stuff that come out of their mouths is totally trash. That fool stood up in church and told a room full of black people that she was thankful for slavery. And not one of them got up and walked out. Not one of them had the sense enough to get up and walk out. Not one of them walked up to her and bust her in her damn mouth. Man, what we going to do, man? We in trouble, man. Oh, man, we in trouble. Good God Almighty. It's time for black people and others to educate themselves 
on what Africa was like before the European invasion. Before they came to Africa and raped and pillaged and stole everything. You got to find out what it was like. You got to stop believing these lies and the propaganda that's been told. Africa has had a rich tradition of great people who've contributed to society. Before the Europeans came, Africa had many civilizations that were full of great scientists, philosophers, biologists, economists, artists, great orators, builders, architects. The list goes on and on and on. But a lot of us, we get caught up in the images that we see projected about Africa, especially in the West. You got to think there's a reason why they do that. Public enemy said it best, the fear of a black planet. If I make them look bad, if I make them look bad enough, nobody will want to do business with them. Nobody will care about them. And nobody will want to go over there. We can isolate them, just keep them to themselves. But we'll put enough people over there for us so we can continue to steal and grow and get paid. It's a cold game, man. It's a cold game. Every time I hear somebody black, especially saying something stupid about Africa, man, I'm just like, man, educate yourself, bro. You don't know. It's easy for a simple-minded, brainwashed, indoctrinated, step and fetch it Negro to appreciate Massa's bones when she's never had the meat beat off of her bones like her ancestors who were raped, sold, and murdered. Buck Dancing Daniels, what do you think your ancestors would say about slavery? You say that if it wasn't for slavery, you'd be somewhere in Africa worshiping a tree. No. If it wasn't for slavery, you'd be somewhere loving yourself and knowing who you are and not spreading negative information about a continent that is the mother of civilization. Dummy. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.